Hello. How are you feeling? Feel good. Yeah. Today's a good day. Um, I was kind of worried we'd be out of things to do in Seattle. We've already been here so long, but well, it turns out <laughs> all the stuff we wanted to do today was in Chinatown. By coincidence, we took the bus to Chinatown today. I found a video game store called Pink Gorilla. Uh, I became aware of the store a few months ago when Chris Kohler and Kotaku made a video about it. Now, there is more than one Pink Gorilla. I think they were perhaps in another location because it was kind of big. The Chinatown version was much smaller, but it was a nice video game store, mostly older stuff, some new stuff, a bunch of little chotskis here and there, <laughs> multiple copies of Chris Kohler's book on the front shelf when you walk in. So, you know, nice opportunity there. And yeah, I just thought it was a nice little shop. We walked around a little bit. Chanel wanted a little, like, I guess, what do you call it? I guess in Japan, there'd be a, a cell phone strap, but she said she wants to put it on her backpack. So, okay, you can put it on your backpack. And I bought a game. Honestly, it wasn't a great price, but frankly, I've been trying to buy this game for a while now, and it's either sold out or it's just digital only. So I wanted a cartridge version, and I figured, eh, if I'm going to buy this game, I might as well give the money to an actual store instead of some giant corporation that won't even need the money, so... Fuck you, Amazon. Anyway. Yeah. Then we had dim sum for lunch, which was a little redundant because we had dim sum this weekend. But this was the other kind of dim sum where you don't order anything. They just keep bringing stuff and you just take it. You take it. So it didn't quite have the ballroom experience, but it had the just pick what you want experience. And it was dirt cheap. Just dirt. I mean, the three of us were stuffed. And it was less than $30. So... Perfect. And then we rolled over to the nearby Pinball Museum. And if you've never been to Japan, then you might not know this, but pinball in Japan is pretty, pretty rare. So my kids have never played pinball. I once took, I showed Go a pinball machine and asked him if he wanted to play it. And he's like, I don't know what that is. I don't want to play it. So the Pinball Museum was a really great opportunity because you pay a flat fee to go in there. So it's, it's a little high, but it's not that bad. And once you're in there, everything's free to play. And they have some really, really like 50 year old pinball machines. And they have some really, really like two year old pinball machines. They're in the gamut. There were a couple arcade games thrown in there, which were really fun for me because they were games I played a lot as a kid, but mostly the home versions, namely Missile Command and Seawolf. Those were games I played a lot as a kid at home. So this was an opportunity for me to just mess around with the uh, with the extra arcade version. And I don't know how long it's gonna last, but at least for today, I was the Missile Command champion of the Seattle Pinball Museum. They might reset that score tomorrow because it wasn't that great, but whatever. It was really good and I really enjoyed the kids because it was free, the kids just played everything and they had a good time. So maybe in the future, the next time we see some pinball machines, they might actually wanna play. And we are spoiled in Osaka because we actually have a very nice pinball uh, venue called Silver Ball Planet. But that's like pay as you play. So they were intimidated before. Maybe they're not, they won't be intimidated now. They'll actually want to play some pinball games, which is good. I think kids should play pinball games occasionally. If they like video games, why not play pinball? It's fun. And then the rest of the day was kind of spent um, with my friend Megan. She first picked us up when we arrived. She invited us to our wedding, which is kind of the main reason we're here. But until today, we really hadn't had time to spend with her because, you know, driving and wedding stuff, like, she's busy. You know, we didn't have time. So today, we just, we just relaxed. You know, we she picked us up. We went shopping. We went home. I actually met her new husband. Like, I went to the wedding. I never actually met her husband. He was just there, like, among the, you know, dozens of other people. So, like, I didn't really talk to him. So it was very nice. The kids were on their relatively decent behavior. They thanked them for letting them play the video games. We all had food together. It was uh, a very nice evening. And I spent the last hour and a half doing laundry, so pretty tired. Anyway, tomorrow is our final, final full day in Seattle. I'm not sure what's going to come of it. I'd love to see some more people before I leave. Maybe? 
I don't think there's any more sites on my list, really. There's not much shopping left to do. I've kind of eaten everything I really, really, really want to eat. So I might just have a repeat. Kind of feel like pizza. Pizza's chance of pizza tomorrow is very high as a farewell present to myself. But I'm tired. So good night, everybody. I love you.